We had so many people that wanted to be our radio broadcaster. Um, but So we literally had hundreds of resumes and tapes and videos to go over. It had to be someone who was strong in social media. It had to be someone who was strong in video. It had to be someone who was a student of the game, really studied and got all the stats and, and, and worked, knew how to work the inside stories and really just had, had a culture and understanding of the culture of the game, but had all this technical side uh, along with as well. And so we had our finalists of those 100 people were five uh, people, and they all would have been extremely successful uh, at, at being the, uh, the inaugural broadcaster for the Sod Fools. But there was something about Sam and the way he delivers the game. I know it was uh, a couple of hundred applicants. These minor league baseball broadcasting jobs, believe it or not, are coveted. They're really special. A lot of people want them. And I was super lucky to uh, get hired here in Amarillo, and here I am. Uh, I usually get here sometime in the morning. Every day is a little bit different start getting ready for the game that night. So that entails getting my scorebook ready, uh, getting our interviews ready, cutting the audio and the video the night before uh, that I need to cut and get ready and all the content we post. There's a lot of different things because I consider myself uh, more than just a play-by-play -play broadcaster and more than just doing our games on radio and TV. My job is to paint a picture of what's going on. So that's the players, the atmosphere, the smell of the hot dogs, the crack of the bat, the way the grass looks, the way the skyline looks here in the panhandle. You want to bring people into the game so when they're listening on the radio, when they're watching on TV, they feel like they're there and they feel like they're a part of it. And I think part of my job is to create the special connection, especially here in the inaugural season of this team. Have I had the duck? You know, we've had a couple of foul balls come pretty close. None. In my radio booth, I think we had one go to the suite to the right of the writer's area, and then we had one hit the top of the window in the visiting radio booth. But I haven't, I, I thought we would have more close calls because of the angle the press box is at here on the first base side, but so far we have not had anyone come close. So I'm ready. I don't have a glove up here, but comes up here, I'm ready to make a play, and then hopefully they'll, they'll sign me, get me a shortstop. That'll be my big play, and then what a story that would be, right?